Jenny Gerke demonstrated an advanced training session earlier this evening on her lovely horse, Fairbanks Jazz Time. Jenny, would you like to tell us a little about your early riding career and uh, your experience and development from that time? Sure. I started riding when I was seven. I grew up in Cairns in far north Queensland and my first pony was a fairly wild part Arab that my parents bought off a, a station in the Atherton Tablelands. I think I fell off him nearly every day for about four years so it was a pretty earthy grounding to my now dressage career. I went through the ranks of Pony Club, we moved to South Australia where eventing is quite a, a big sport and I was uh, eventing and I went to Pony Club with Wendy Schaefer and a few, Mandrew Hoare and a few famous eventers and I had a few horses that weren't very brave over the jumps and uh, lost my nerve and went on to try and get a little better at the dressage on these horses to get their balance better and I'm still, I'm still stuck with dressage now, I've, it's become a terrible addiction that I can't let go. And uh, Jenny, would you like to tell us a little bit about Fairbanks Jazz Time? Jazz Time was bred here in Queensland by Russell Davidson at Fairbanks Stud. He's by Jazz out of one of their top mares, Gina. I bought the horse in partnership with Pete McCluskey when the horse was seven. He was quite green, even though he was quite mature. Uh, so he was a seven-year-old with a three or four-year-old's training and in the last three years uh, I've brought him from novice to pre St George and uh, he's a really wonderful horse, a great character, a little bit, a little bit naughty at times but uh, I love that about him. And Jenny, you've ridden quite a lot of mares in your riding career. The current uh, uh, mare you're riding is Jatan. Um, could you tell us how you ride your mares compared to geldings and stallions? Yes, I've, I've uh, ended up riding mares by default. Um, the first top mare that I rode was owned by someone else. and. Um, and I, from uh, my success on her, I got onto state squads, and from my success on her, I uh, attracted some other owners, and was fortunate enough to go to Germany with an owner, and we we couldn't see the point in bringing back a gelding. Um, in case something went wrong with the horse and I didn't have the facilities for studying so mares it was. So it's really by, been by default but uh, riding mares, they're, they're end tyres and they always give you the feeling that if you can get them on side there's always a little bit more left in the tank which is really a special feeling. They're not as consistent perhaps as the Geldings but um, the partnership that I have with Shatan in particular is maybe the partnership of a lifetime and uh, when she's great, she's really wonderful. And could you tell us with your training um, a little about your routine and also looking after the horse's uh, mind and keeping them happy? I do a lot of the work myself at home. I do have some great helpers, but uh, I think it's important that, um, especially in the initial stages of training that I do, the handling, grooming and picking their feet out and just daily rugging and um, with the work routine, I work my horses five days a week as religiously as possible with our inclement weather. And uh, I find that two days off is enough if they have any little niggling muscle injuries to get better and enough to keep them fresh. As I come into competition season, that will be up to six days a week. And I don't work every day on the arena. Uh, at least twice a week I take the horses just for a ride out. We're lucky enough to have a few hills so they get a bit of cross, cross training and a little bit of mental health as well. And what's the future for you and for the horses you're currently riding? Well, I've, I'd like to take uh, jazz time to uh, Grand Prix and uh, I've done three Grand Prix starts on Jatan now and I, I sadly I think the owners uh, are getting ready to sell the horse and uh, I understand they've been terrific owners and, and I understand that it's the right time for them and I'm sure there'll be tears but um, so she will probably be sold this year and um, then I'll just get another one and go again because I really love training. Thank you very much, Jenny, and thank you for watching, and it's goodbye from the Queensland Dressage Festival and tophorse.com.au.